Hey everyone, Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here working at the pond and the land again today, and I feel like I work out here more than I actually ever enjoy it. But I have a little bit of a product review for you today. Some hinges to go on this floating dock and gangway here. So if any of you have built your own floating dock and gangway, um, a lot of times what you'll see is people have hinges that will attach you know, multiple floating planks or the dock to the multiple floating planks together. And those are typically a male and female piece that have a pin that you would see go in like a Reese hitch on your truck with a cotter pin to hold it together. Originally, I was going to do that and put you know, the male piece on that side, the female piece on the gangway, and then we could pull the two together, slide the pin in, put the cotter pin on, and lock the two in place and detach as we see fit. That would be a decent solution and it would work. And Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, Amazon, everyone and their brother carry those kind of hinges. They're about 30 bucks a set, I believe, or something like that. Definitely a usable solution. However, as I mentioned, we like to detach this dock and take it out in the middle and float it, kind of tied off to the trees and whatnot. So we'd be taking this thing in and out quite a bit. The problem would be is somebody would have to be down here on this side with a pin in hand, and you can see my reflection kind of doing my hand gestures here, as the two line up, slide it in, and put a cotter pin in, and that just seems like a lot of hassle and a great way for people to get their hand, hands mingled up. So having already went overkill on this dock, and I don't know if you want to call it overkill or not, it's really awesome, but having put all the time, effort, and money into this thing, I figured you may as well keep down that path and buy some hinges that are pretty awesome. Isn't it deserving of some pretty awesome hinges? So you ask, what did I find? Well, pretty much exactly what I was looking for. Floating dock latches from TS Ironworks. There's Travis's card laying there. Thanks, Travis. Um, you guys figure out how these work yet? Let me show you. I'll give you a quick demo. These are brutes, man. So it's pretty straightforward. You mount one side on the gangway or the dock. The other side has the opposite end, male and female. And when you bring the two together, they simply lifts up and latches. And there's actually a um, extra hole here too, so you could you know put a lock on here if you didn't want people taking them apart, or, or even just another rod for extra security. But I can't imagine even in some very sizable waves and that these would come apart, especially on a pond, maybe a lake or ocean side. But yeah, exactly what I was looking for. And I'll save you guys the trouble if you're trying to find something different. Um, maybe a little bit cheaper or a different style. They have a patent on this, so I don't think you're gonna find anyone else out there that has these. I mean, and look, why would you not want these? These things are stout. Nice welds too, by the way. But I would say they'll get the job done, so let's put these on the dock. And they just mount up with, uh, you can use carriage bolts. I think their, their website says to use carriage bolts. I'm using uh, 3 8 inch lag screws. And I do actually have two of these. Originally, I had bought one uh, admittedly off eBay because the shipping from TS Ironworks wasn't going to make it here by the 4th of July and you got to be out here on the 4th of July. So anyway, I had one. I had to put it in the middle um, knowing it probably wasn't the best solution. You can see the holes over there. I've already got the new ones drilled too. But um, I had one on here and you know, when us bigger guys walked on here, if you didn't walk dead center, you'd kind of torque it. I don't think those hinges were ever going to bend, but it just didn't make for a really nice fit and finish. So going with two. So I'll get these mounted up. I'm putting the latch side on the gangway and then the bar side out there. So I will get these on here and give you guys a quick shot. All right, guys, I just pulled her into position like it's a boat or something, but this thing's stout. These are not going anywhere. Check that out. So when it's time to leave, and by leave, I mean go like 30 feet out that way, uh, just lift these up, push her out. And uh, this would be nice because now it won't torque in the wind and the gangway won't flex as you walk down it. Another thing that's nice about how big those things are, our water level has dropped quite a bit because we don't have a, a spring feed in this thing and it's not full yet. Uh, we hope to have some geothermal one day feeding it. But anyway, uh, if you, I don't know if you can see down there, but the gangway is actually being supported by this dock a little bit, hence the rope I had there to kind of pull it up um, to make them level. Once the pond's full, they'll be level, but for now, the gangway, like I said, is being supported by those hinges, and uh, given the size of those bad boys, I have no issues with that. Those things are serious. So there you have it. Floating dock latches, or hinges, whatever you want to call them. 
from TS Ironworks. They are stout little things and I know they're gonna serve us well. So if you guys are in a similar situation where you have a floating dock that you wanna detach and take out to other places, I would seriously look into these things. They are well made and they are gonna last a lifetime, especially since they're galvanized. Hopefully that was informative for some of you guys out there. If you would, hit that subscribe button down below and come back and see us. We're always doing all kinds of projects out here at the farm. Whether it's things around this pond or other various projects in the woods with the chainsaws and tractor, backhoe, etc. There's just absolutely something always going on. So hit that subscribe button. New videos from us every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern. Take care, guys. I'll be in the pond if you need me.